you can have a career in space exploration. When you think of careers in manned spaceflight, what comes to mind? Astronauts? Mission control? How about rocket scientists? Did you know that there are many more careers in space exploration than just those, and most of them happen right here on Earth? You could have one of these careers without even going to space. Do you like exercise? Do you like plants? Do you like building and inventing things? Do you like learning about the human body? You can do any of these things for a career in space exploration without even leaving Earth. Isn't that amazing? Want to learn more? This video is for you. First, we will take a look at the study of how the human body works in space, which is known as human physiology. Did you know that being in space can change your eyesight? Astronauts lose their balance after a long time in space. After long trips, space travelers need help getting out of their capsules. Astronauts can get annoyed at each other. Human physiology tries to solve these problems. Dr. Mark Shellhammer headed NASA's Human Research Program. Here he discusses the purpose of the Human Research Program and the effects of the human body in space. The Human Research Program covers things from radiation effects through medical issues to the physiology, the psychology and cognitive effects, and logistical operations. If you were to land on Mars and there's an emergency, you have to evacuate the spacecraft. Well, setting aside the question of where you're going to go if you evacuate the spacecraft, these people are generally not in a situation where they're ready to suit up and get out of the spacecraft within hours of landing anywhere after being in space for a long period of time. Now, they get better, obviously. Dr. Shellhammer studied biomedical engineering and electrical engineering. Did you know that exercise is vital for travelers in space? Why is that, you ask? It's because there is no gravity in space, so astronauts lose their strength. It can be difficult for them to return to normal life when they come home. They may be unsteady on their feet. Dr. Andrea Hansen is the manager of the Exercise, Physiology, and Countermeasures Lab at the NASA Johnson Space Center. She develops technology that allows astronauts to keep their bones and muscles strong while in space. Bone and muscle loss remain a serious risk to crew health. Dr. Hansen studied aerospace engineering, bioastronautics, microgravity sciences, and chemical engineering. Astronaut Karen Nyberg can go for a run in space. Luckily, we have the capability to run here on the space station, too. In fact, it's one of the uh, three exercises that we do on a daily basis to help keep our hearts and our bones and our muscles strong while we're here without the gravity pull of Earth uh, affecting our body every single day. The spacecraft is too small to carry all the food that astronauts need on long trips like to Mars, so astronauts will grow plants to eat. Botanists are needed to study how plants grow in space and on other planets to feed astronauts, explorers, and settlers. Meet Dr. Raymond Wheeler. He is a space botanist in the NASA Sustainable Systems Division. You could be a space botanist like him. Crops can regenerate air, recycle water, and produce much of the food needed for humans living in closed systems. Dr. Wheeler studied plant physiology. People will need places to live and work in deep space and on other planets. Space architects are required to design and create these habitations. Meet Professor Michael Fox. He is the co-founder and design principal of Fox Lynn Architects. You could be a space architect just like him. Professor Fox and Fox Lynn designed XHAB which is a cylinder-shaped deep space habitat with multiple levels. It contains everything that the astronauts need. The XHAB was designed to travel between planets and to stay on Mars. Professor Fox studied architecture. What if you can't take everything you need into space? The NASA's In Space Manufacturing Program, or ISM's motto is, Make it, don't take it. This is because they develop technologies that allow astronauts to simply make all of the things that they need while they are in space. This may include medicines, tools, even food and places to live. How would they do this, you ask? The answer is simple. 3D printing. For example, medicines cannot survive in space for as long as they do on Earth. 
This is because there is a lot of harmful radiation in space. Rather than wait for a resupply mission, 3D printers can be used to print medications on long space missions. Amazing, right? It gets even better. Where will people live when they get to Mars? What if they used a giant 3D printer? Here's one idea. The printer lands on Mars before the humans. It prints buildings from the ground up using only materials from Mars. Someone needs to invent these things. Maybe it will be you. Professor Fox has advice for you. Just explore everything out there when you're young and then find what you really, really like to do. Then stay focused on that and you will succeed. We have covered only a few of the many careers in space exploration that take place right here on Earth. Remember, you too can have a career in space exploration.